Kevin Sorbo. Wife Sam believe AI is extraordinarily dangerous. Hercules. Star and his wife. Actress Sam Sorbo. Own production company Sorbo Studios. Hercules. The Legendary Journeys. Star Kevin Sorbo and his wife. Actress Sam Sorbo. Aren't excited by the idea of artificial intelligence being used in Hollywood. The couple recently spoke with Fox News Digital about their new movie, Miracle in East Texas, and shared their concerns about the potential use of AI in manipulating actors' likenesses and performances. The pair run their own production company, Sorbo Studios, which produces family-friendly, faith-based entertainment. I've always wanted to do a movie of Marilyn Monroe and Marlon Brando, apparently now I'll be able to, Kevin said. But, I don't think it would stand up in court that they could get away with that without paying the people. He continued, we have to fight it, it's frustrating. I don't want to be on strike, but I understand the concept behind it, and hopefully it will get solved sooner than later. Sam agreed with her husband's comments. I think AI is extraordinarily dangerous, she said. It's not regulated, and I don't know if they even know how to regulate it, because it's so stealthy. And, you know, my daughter's an artist, and there's a big uproar in the art community because AI can reproduce any art with impunity and do whatever it wants to the art. And this is what we are struggling with as actors as well. If they can just recreate this, gesturing towards Kevin, and make it do or say anything that they want, that's a very dangerous proposition. Kevin added, they will, they'll do it. You know, the one thing that this country stands for is, basically bodily autonomy, like, we have freedom, Sam continued, adding that she believes the strike, is quite justified. Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists, SAG-AFTRA, has been on strike since July 14, while the Writers Guild of America, WGA, has been on strike since May 2. The use of AI has been a major point of contention for both unions as they struggle to find an agreement with the studios. The WGA and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, AMPTP, met on August 11 with the AMPTP presenting its first counteroffer to the union's demands. The union called out the studio's negotiating group, saying in a letter to its members posted to its website this week that it accepted an invitation to meet with Disney CEO, Bob Iger, Universal Pictures CCO, Donna Langley, Netflix CEO, Ted Sarandis, Warner Brothers. Discovery CEO, David Zoslov and AMPTP President, Carol Lombardini. It was accompanied by a message, from them, that it was past time to end this strike and that the companies were finally ready to bargain for a deal. We explained all the ways in which their counters limitations and loopholes and omissions failed to sufficiently protect writers from the existential threats that caused us to strike in the first place. We told them that a strike has a price, and that price is an answer to all, and not just some, of the problems they have created in the business.